Joe McFadden was crowned this year's winner of Strictly Come Dancing, as delighted fans heralded the series as the best one in the show's 14-year history. The former Holby City actor went head-to-head -head with Debbie McGee, Gemma Atkinson and Alexandra Burke this evening and, after tough competition, beat them at the final hurdle to take home the Glitter Ball Trophy. Joe and Katya have been crowned the champions of Strictly 2017 after being announced as the public's winner. The stunned star said it's completely surreal I can't believe it we did. It, he then told Claudia Winkleman that he thought he wouldn't win in a million years and added I'm so in awe of everyone who started all those weeks ago. We've become such a tight unit. Joe, whose partner Katya Jones burst into tears after they were crowned, won the judges over with his impressive routines. Turning to Katya, Joe said this one is an amazing woman. Thank you so much for sticking with me and persevering, and being the most amazing artist and dancer and counselor and slave driver, she's amazing. The delighted pair were left good obsmacked by their win Joe McFadden and Katya Jones Charleston to Alexander's Ragtime Band by Ella Fitzgerald in the Strictly Come Dancing final after the show ended. The pair thanked fans for their win in a short video clip posted on the official BBC Strictly Twitter account. Joe said, Thank you so much to everyone online, we've only just gone and won somehow, adding thank you so much for all of the support, it really means a lot. Alongside him an excited Katya Jones squealed it's insane. This was Katya's first ever win after joining the show last year fans cheered from their sofas as Katya hugged her partner in delight as the rest of the team including her husband Neil Jones ran on to the dance floor to celebrate their victory. They were the only finalists to never appear in the bottom two throughout their time on the show. The judges' final scores were tight, with just five points between top-ranking Alexandra and Gemma. Alexandra topped the leaderboard with 119 points, followed by Joe with 118, Debbie with 117 and finally Gemma with 114. Their scores were simply to guide viewers however and the decision to crown Joe and Katya this year's champions was all in viewers' hands. Joe and Katya were crowned the winner of this year's series The Ecstatic Pair Beat Alexandra, Debbie and Gemma in the finale fans of the BBC dancing show praised this series as the best ever, with one writing, this has been the best one yet. Another tweeted, his series has been incredible, I'm so sad it's over. A third commented, what a wonderful series if strictly capped off by a fab finale, well done all. Involved. Debbie dazzled with Giovanni for one last dance Joe and Katya recreated their Dr. Zhivago number for the finale Gemma channeled her inner Christina Aguilera for her show dance Alexandra and Gorka ended the show with a bang this evening the stars of the show kicked off the two under half hour spectacular with a bang performing a group dance routine to what a feeling with the four finalists joining the professionals center stage. However, viewers were devastated when they noted professionals Kevin and Karen Clifton weren't performing together following news of their marriage crisis. The team started the evening in style with a stunning routine the pair earned a perfect 40 for their American Smooth Alexandra and Gorka were the first up for the evening, earning a perfect 40 as they led the judges' choice round with their American Smooth routine for Wouldn't It Be Lovely from My Fair Lady. Admitting she absolutely loved the dance routine, Shirley Ballas told the former X Factor star, You truly captured the essence of everything the Strictly final was about. Debbie's heart-stopping lifts left viewers stunned Strictly Come Dancing Professionals open the final with show-stopping routine, You were so feminine you brought a much softer side. We're used to you with your energy, it was exquisite. Bruno agreed and said, lovelier than ever and even more fragrant than the blooms on display. You give your heart and soul in everything that you do, he added. Craig Revel Horwood then joked, well I thought it was absolutely dreadful, because I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it.
Joe and Katya became fan favorites with their cheeky and elaborate routines Alexandra Burke and Gorka Marquez American smooth to my fair ladies wouldn't it be? Lovely on the Strictly Come Dancing final Giovanni and Debbie got emotional after their final dance Debbie and Giovanni were next up, scoring a near-perfect 39 by performing a salsa containing a series of tricky lifts during a routine that can't take my eyes off of you. Bruno Tonioli said, You've got to be kidding me, you're like the TARDIS you can defy all the laws of physics. Darcy Bussell also praised her, saying that she wanted to bottle the star's entertainment value. Debbie later admitted that she was terrified about performing the lifts again, but it was her trust in Giovanni that got her through it. This week proved to be tricky for the star, who had fallen ill with the flu and was forced to cancel rehearsals. The judges didnt hold back during their final week debut was compared to a TARDIS by Bruno Tonioli during her first routines feedback Gemma and El just took to the dance floor next with their Paso Doble to Cold Place Viva La Vida, earning a score of 38 for their efforts. Surely praised Gemma for her resilience and told her, You have had an open mind from day one, you've taken criticism on the chin, you've been amazing. You've taken the bull by the horns, darling. My darling, you've grown so much after the last few months, said proud Bruno. Every time you've come back, you've taken criticism. Gemma and Elges fought till the bitter end for the glitter ball. Alexandra and Gorka recreate their dance routine to Wouldn't It Be Lovely at the request of the judges. Joe and Katya finished the judges' choice sector with their Venus Waltz from Movie Week, themed like Dr. Zhivago, and also earned 39 points. Katya broke down in her rehearsal chat, admitting it meant a lot to her to make it to the final week. Darcy was impressed with their efforts and told them, you rose to the challenge and you excelled before admitting that it was her favorite routine of the entire series. Debbie McGee and Giovanni Pernis perform a salsa to can't take my eyes off you on the Strictly Come Dancing final Shirley then proudly added, I just thought it had it all. It was big, it was bold and it was beautiful and if I had an 11 paddle for that fleckle, you would be getting it. You are fantastic, I'm very proud of you Joe, Bruno added, I think we are all falling in love all over again, from Russia with love, wasn't it fantastic, Debbie? And Giovanni charmed with their show dance, Debbie McGee and Giovanni Pernis show dance to One Day Ill Fly Away by Vaults on the Strictly Come Dancing final moving on to their show routines, Alexandra and Gorka embraced showbiz in all its glory with an Broadway-inspired performance to There's No Business Like Show Business. Darcy told them, I just feel like you've come into your own, your energy is just boundless. They earned 39 for their performance, with Craig being the only one to keep them from their perfect track record of the evening. Gemma and El just tried out a sassy number inspired by the film, burlesque Alexandra and Gorka got a score of 39 for their routine to There's No Business Like Show Business. Debbie then turned into a music box doll for their show-stopping routine to One Day I'll Fly Away. Bruno started off the praise and said, You are the dream my darling. Craig couldn't resist making a dig at his co-judge during his praise, and told the pair, It's quite dangerous considering doing ballet when you have Darcy bus stop here, but I think you did it really, really well. I really enjoyed it, a lot. Well done. Joe and Katya pulled out all the stops for their Cinderella-inspired show dance Alexandra Burke and Gorka Marquez show dance to There's No Business Like Show Business by Ethel Merman on the Strictly Come Dancing final The couple earned 38 marks for their efforts. Gemma wowed fans as she transformed into a burlesque dancer for her routine, channeling Christina Aguilera for a performance routine that literally saw her name in lights. After dancing to show me how you burlesque, Gemma and Alges received a standing ovation from the audience. Craig, however, wasn't impressed and said, I like it but I didn't love it I'm afraid. Surely bit back at the resident Mr. Nasty for the harsh critique, and said that she loved it and praised her 1000% effort. They eventually were awarded 37 by the judges. 
Alexandra Burke and Gore Kumar Kaz drive to Proud Mary by Tina Turner on the Strictly Come Dancing final taking inspiration from the fairy tale Cinderella. Joe and Katya ended the show dance section with Hall and Oates' romantic classic You Make My Dreams Come True matching their previous score with another 39. The routine even included a little bit of extra magic. Katya's dress was transformed into a, a silver sparkle flapper gown mid-routine. Darcy was definitely won over by Joe's Prince Charming and said dreamy Prince Joe you have come a long way really become one snappy mover. Gemma Atkinson and Al Scorgenek danced the American Smooth on the Strictly Come Dancing final it had a wonderful kind of magic about it, it really channeled to your strengths. Craig then joked that shoe might fit me darling before letting go of his cold exterior for a beaming grin. The pairs then performed their final routines, which was their personal favorite performance from their 13-week run on the show. Alexandra started by channeling Tina Turner in her now iconic jive to Proud Mary by Tina Turner, causing Bruno and Shirley to get up on their feet from behind the table. I'm sure it will come down in Strictly Come Dancing Hall of Fame, Jay McGuinness and Jill Halfpenny, and now you, said Bruno. After earning 39 points when they first performed the routine in week 4, the pair finally got that missing mark from Craig after he gave them a standing ovation, getting a perfect 40. Warning use of this image is subject to the terms of use of BBC Pictures Digital Picture Al just praised Gemma for her hard work during the past four months. Warning use of this image is subject to the in terms of use of BBC Pictures Digital Picture Joe and Katya brought the charm for their Cinderella routine. I really don't want to cry, so I just want to say that I'm just grateful, said Alexandra. I'm so, so happy. Debbie and Giovanni were next up with their last dance, and performed the Argentine tango. An emotional Debbie held back tears as she praised Strictly and Giovanni for giving her a new lease of life, and she said, I will always look back on Strictly with very, very happy memories. Alex and Gorka brought the house down with their show dance routine Tess Daly appears to shout at someone off camera on Strictly Come Dancing Bruno said, It was sublime, what a tango you really set the benchmark for the Argentine tango tonight it was even better than the first time around. This is Bruno talking, you really have exceeded my expectations week after week and you've been such a source of inspiration. When they said, oh you get to a certain age, your history, well you are not for all 60-year-olds, choking up about their close bond, Debbie told the judges, from day one he just wanted me to shine and all he's done is put me first, Gio then told her, and you deserve every second of it. You're just brilliant. They ended their time on the show on a high, earning a perfect 40 to round off their trip. Debbie pulled out all the stops and even brought back her ballet background to the dance floor. Joe McFadden and Katya Jones show Dance to You Make My Dreams by Hall Ampotes on the Strictly Come Dancing final Gemma and Elges brought back their American Smooth to Downtown, which they initially performed at Blackpool. Emotions ran high as they finished the performance, and as the stage bus drove them off, the pair broke down in tears, hugging each other as they realized their time on the show was over. You should be really really proud. It had all the magic and I know you had it there. Thank you very much, it was such a sure performance, really. Shirley said, it was just a musical extravaganza from a lovely young lady. Alexandra Burke and Gore Kumar Kaz show dance to There's No Business Like Show Business by Ethel Merman on the Strictly Come Dancing final comparing her to a professional, she added, Your journey has just been one of improvement, and I hope people recognize that. Bruno, who had fallen off his chair and pulled out wires from the judge's desk in the process, said, I'm pleased to say that you're still flowing and you're glowing, before breaking out into his own musical number inspired by his own comment. After their final performance, the pair got a respectable 39 their highest score of the series.
Aldris then nearly reduced Gemma to tears as he said, Thank you so much for everything over the past four months, Debbie McGee and Giovanni Pernas danced the Argentine tango on the Strictly Come Dancing final Joe and Katya closed the competition with their final performance with their Charleston routine, turning themselves into little drummer boys, just in time for Christmas for the song, Alexander's Ragtime Band. The pair who were the only two to have made it to the final without entering the bottom two landed their final score of with a perfect 40. Gemma Atkinson and Al J. Scorgenac do the Paso Doble to Viva La Vida by Coldplay on the Strictly Come Dancing final Debbie turned into a music box for their routine after Ed Sheeran performed his new single Perfect, the entire cast returned for one last dance performing Walking on Sunshine to KC and the Sunshine Band, the group brought back some of their greatest moments for a fun-filled number. The whole gang were brought back for one last dance everyone returned for a final performance and pulled out the stops the finale marked the end of Shirley Bala's first year as head judge after taking over from Len Goodman, something she has revealed was one beautiful sparkling journey for her. However, after dividing fans for her tough critiques, the jury is still out over whether or not she'll return for another run next year. Speaking to The Sun ahead of the finale, she said, Just like the voting, nothing is for sure. Let's get this season finished first. Got a story? Email digishowbiz at thesun.co.uk or call us direct on 0207-782-4220. We pay for videos, do click here to upload yours.